is up guys here in the office working today um needed to use uh my wife's silhouette if you don't know what a silhouette is it's a uh, vinyl cutter um you can design up anything you want on the computer uh, just like that alarm will sound when glass breaks um the reason i'm making this is uh we recently just failed a uh, fire marshal inspection uh did not know we had to have those um just got a random email that said hey you failed the fire inspection for your coin laundry um i called the guy and he said yeah we hadn't been doing them because we'd never you know never done one he said yeah we hadn't been doing them uh so we just started back um the only thing we failed for was not having a fire extinguisher inside and he his very words was I know why you don't have it inside being an unintended laundromat, but um, we we talked about it, figured out what would work for us. And uh, here's what I've got. I'll have a video. I don't know if it'll be in this video or if it'll be in the next video, but I'll have a video of it installing this. Um, but I did want to show what I was doing to try to deter people from messing with it because it's not a CO2 um, fire extinguisher. It's one of the powdered ones that would make an absolute mess. So... Uh, we're going to try to deter people from messing with it. Um, let's see here. This is the box we got for it. Um, it's a 10 pound unit. I'm going to put the one decal up here, one decal down here. Uh, that line will be a perfect line to, uh, uh, this line right here will be a perfect line to, um, to be able to keep everything straight. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and this is the only piece of white vinyl I have, I think. Maybe, I might, yep, yep, I have one more piece. So, we've, uh, she got out of this and we never ordered any more. So, we'll see what we can do with this. So, this is my only piece of white. Hopefully it works, but this is how it cuts. pieces of vinyl out of the holes which that ain't bad I've got one two three four five six seven eight about ten to do so not bad at all there are some that get pretty complicated and that is what the finished product looks like it almost looks like a professional did it Today, getting things back to normal it seems normal ish uh, who knew a baby changed things so much? But uh, uh, let me just show you real quick what the condition of the laundromat is. Uh, just trash everywhere. The camera really don't do it justice. Um, but uh, I was down here. Uh, I don't like touching stuff like that. But I was down here no more than about 12 hours ago. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more maybe. Um, we had a couple of problems. Uh, our heat stopped working. Uh, so I called the landlord. Landlord was, said he'd try to get somebody out here today. Um, I don't know if they ever did or not, but I came in and I decided I'd check the heat out and see if it, you know, it would actually work. Um, sure enough, it, it kicked on. So I'm not sure what went on. Maybe a motor, motor overload or something like that, but uh, cause the blower wasn't working. It wasn't nothing to do with the heat. Um, right now the blower's on, the heat's working good. I'm gonna let it cycle through a couple times while I'm here working. I've got to, uh, of course, get the place cleaned up, clean my dryers, probably take change off, and I've got to install my fire extinguisher, uh, which you've probably already seen the clip um, that, you know, I failed a fire, and fire marshal inspection. Uh, no big deal there. Um, we only failed it because we didn't have a fire extinguisher in here. Uh, said he understood why we didn't, but it's still the law. So, um, but, uh, I'm gonna get that installed. I showed that I showed that box earlier, so uh, I'm gonna install it beside the old soap machine. Uh, right now, I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this place clean because it is a disaster.
Well, that's all I've got for now. Um, I thought I had way more footage than that. Turns out it was just really a bunch of incoherent rambling. You really couldn't hear me. Um, the camera wasn't placed very well. And uh, you know how it goes. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you thought they were going to work out. Um, really thought I'd get a lot more footage of installing the fire extinguisher, um, which, you know, straightforward. Uh, four, vol four bolts into the... Uh, little plastic uh, housing and uh, two bolts into the hanger for the fire extinguisher, but not to a whole lot there. Um, but as soon as I got ready to install that, I had some customers walk in. As you can see to the left of that, uh, in that video, there was uh, two loads of clothes going. Um, but I did, you know, did think to actually record it on my camera system. You know, so you could just get a little bit of a time lapse of installing it. Um, but fortunately, things have been going smooth at the laundromat. Um, and we're transitioning finally, you know, to having a, a newborn around and getting used to having a newborn. And, you know, right now we're on her schedule, so it's up every two hours. Um, but uh, I'll start back to work here in the next week. And I'll be going to the laundromat every morning to, you know, clean things and Right now, it's I've been going there at one in the evening, two in the evening, eight at night. You know, just random times cleaning up. Just whenever I can get a moment to jump out and get it done. So that's that's the do the lack of content right there. Um, but like I said, I've got a few more things to do. Um, got some really I want to really get into that uh, transmission. I know I've been saying, and I think I've said it the past three videos, but uh, I want to get that transmission took care of. Um, didn't want to tackle it last night because I had too many people in there. And, uh, part of me doesn't want to tackle it without having a, uh, without having a washer to put there in its place because I've looked for all kinds of, any kind of literature, any kind of video on, on redoing a transmission. Um, I found the diagrams. It seems like it should be straightforward, but I don't want to leave it to any what ifs. And, you know, I'm stuck in the laundromat for six hours trying to put something back together. So, you know, but uh, I think right now that's about it. Um, I did try to buy some used equipment today. Um, uh, however, I don't think he does, wants to take my offer. Uh, it was sight unseen. It was 13, you know, it was eight stack dryers, 13 Ipso horizons i don't know exactly what they're called um and several other things i offered him five grand he just laughed and uh you know hey it is what it is you know i'm not gonna over overpay for something and it, you know it's on a whirlwind of a uh or it's just on a whim so uh i still have it in mind to find some stack dryers to get in there we definitely need some more stacks um because our washer to our washer to uh, dryer ratio is off. Um, I've done the math. I think we have 500 pounds of washing and like 400 pounds of drying. So basically, on our weekends, you know, our dryers just get completely full, uh, and people have to wait. And I don't want that. Um, I want to get people in, and I want to get people out. Uh, but that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. 
um, while we're, you know, transitioning from no baby to a new baby. Um, but thanks for sticking with me. With me. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. There'll be more content in the future. There'll be more in-depth videos. That's what I enjoy doing, uh, really tackling things, uh, jumping in the unknown and getting it done. But thank you for watching. God bless.